Thank you, Dr. De Alan Desmond. That's right. For being on uh, Veggie Channel. Oh, delighted to be here. Thanks for having me on, Massimo. Appreciate Thank it. You. Today, I would like to ask you how you became vegan. How is it possible that during the life of a physician, mm -hmm. I don't know, sometimes all of the sun, sometimes little by little, you discover something new and then you operate a mm. lifestyle change. How did it happen with you? Well, it was inevitable. Okay, I'm a gastroenterologist. I see people with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis and diverticular disease and irritable bowel syndrome and all these conditions that are so common. I mean, these conditions are almost become so common. I mean, about 1% of the UK population now have ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. But every patient, because I'm a gastroenterologist, they always ask me, is there any food I should eat? Is there any food I should avoid? And so I wanted to be as confident in the answers that I gave those patients, as confident as I am when I prescribe them a pill. I wanted evidence-based answers, so I went looking for those answers. So I went and read all the literature, what food, you know, to answer that question, what food should I eat, what food should I avoid? And all of those studies point in one clear direction. So I've been a consultant gastroenterologist since 2012, so that's seven years now, but I started training as a doctor in the 1990s. In the early days of my career, I was very keenly interested in the gut microbiome. Where I worked and where I trained was the home of a company called the Alimentary Pharmabiotic Research Center, where I, I was employed for a little while. So even in, like in the late 90s, early 2000s, I was hearing about the gut microbiome before it became this big thing. So I've always been interested in microbiome and food and how it relates to disease. But really, I didn't get the confidence to, well, I mean, I went to plant-based myself completely like three years ago, okay? And that was a very conscious decision. I was recommending healthy dietary change to my patients. Mm -hmm. And I think you've got to walk the talk, you know? You gotta, mm -hmm. If you're recommending something, you know, you can't tell patients not to smoke and then smoke. Mm -hmm. You know, or tell patients not to drink too much wine, but then you're drinking loads of wine, mm -hmm. you know? So if you want your patients to eat a healthy diet, they've got to respect that you're doing that too. Was it a, a, a decision you made all of the sudden or it happened little by little? The process of coming to realize that I needed to do that happened gradually. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the actual decision, I mean, the change in my diet was overnight. Mm -hmm. So um, a good friend of mine, a chap called Wade, and I were talking a couple of years ago. He'd been on a little bit of a health journey himself. He'd um, quit alcohol, you know, it was just social drink, but he quit alcohol, he was getting fit. We were kind of on a parallel journey together, and we were talking about all this stuff, you know, and we just said, okay, let's go plant-based. Now we did it that day, and day. that day, so we just went plant-based that day. Um, we're good friends, our wives are friends, and we're all, you know, so we supported each other. So we said, let's do it for 90 days. 90 days. So we just made the change overnight, and, and we never family? went back. My wife's been like pescatarian since I met her, um, so it was easy for her to go plant-based. She just dropped fish, so that was easy. And um, my, we've got three little kids, and they, I mean, you can't tell your kid what to eat, you know, because they're going to leave the house, they're going to go to a party, they're going to go to school and have some cheesy baked potato or something and get hooked on cheese. You cannot tell your kid what to eat. You can just keep putting healthy food in front of them and they'll make those choices. So my kids are vegetarian. At home, they're like, like 95% vegan, but when they're out of the house, they can eat whatever they want. We don't like send them to parties with a sign that says, I'm vegan. Um, although we have vegan friends, obviously, so if they're at their house, it's all good. So my kids eat whatever they want, but I'm glad to say that mostly what they want is healthy plant-based food. My eight-year-old daughter like bothers me to make her miso soup. She loves miso soup. My little boy, who's nearly four, loves tofu like little bits of tofu, except he calls them chickpeas. He, he sees me eating tofu and he goes, oh, chickpeas. So he's, he's got a little bit of plant-based confusion, but uh, he's on the right so track. So everything depends on the education that you give. Well, it's just putting, the, putting that food in front of them okay. all the time. Because they're going to start, they, you know, kids are hungry. They're going to just choose some of those healthy things and get a taste for them. And when they're, when they're young, they're, they're figuring out what they like. Mm -hmm. So if you get them a whole range of healthy foods to choose from, they'll find the ones they like. If you had to give an advice to a physician that is starting starting to get information and mm. maybe he's uh, you know, likely to become vegan but he, he still doesn't know. What would you tell him? You mean in their biology? clinical practice, you mean? Uh, both. Well, I think in life, I mean, there's so much evidence out there now, right? Just go to pcrm.org or watch The Game Changers or watch Forks <laughs> Over Knives or watch What the Health. And as a physician, if you're thinking of making a change, go and have a look at them, but don't just watch them passively. So The Game Changers, great movie all about plant-based. So what it does is during that movie, if someone makes a scientific claim in the 
in the movie, mm -hmm. the reference appears at the end mm -hmm. of the screen. So don't just sit there and watch the movie, pause it, go on to Medline, get that paper, mm -hmm. read it. Whatever your specialty is, if you're a cardiologist or a dermatologist, if you're a gastroenterologist like me, or whatever your specialty is, go on to PubMed and type in diet in mm -hmm. whatever your specialty is mm -hmm. and just follow the evidence and you will find that the standard Western diet which gets half of its calories from ultra processed foods mm -hmm. junk food and gets like most of the rest of its calories from dairy and animal products mm -hmm. is almost designed it's like someone designed a diet to give us chronic disease to give us gastrointestinal disease to make us obese to give us Crohn's disease to give us heart disease and if you can start to talk to your patients mm -hmm. you can turn things around any physician who decides they're going to do this, mm -hmm. they need to maybe find one patient and really put in the effort with that patient. Mm -hmm. And that one patient will turn their life around and yeah. will turn their clinical practice around. Because they'll say, it worked for this person. I've got to tell more people about it. Thank you very much and uh, hope to see you soon in Italy. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to visit. Thanks for having me on.